Okay, so this begins um, our second segment. So from here, um, we're going to make a pretty long run down this road. We're, we're in the little town of Gorka where we left off on the last video. Uh, again, this is uh, just to recap what we've done. Remember, we started in Baranzino, which is on the northeast uh, top right of the map on the coast. That's where we spawned in at, and then we got to the little town of Gorka. We're here in Gorka. And now we're going to go to Novi Sabor. Uh, that's our next little, that's our next little uh, leg. Um, that we're going that that's the next spot that we need to get to. And actually, once we get to Novi Sabor, man, we're just right around the corner from the big airfield. So you know, when you respawn from Baranzino, it doesn't take that long to get to the big airbase. Um, when you respawn from one of the other places, uh, you gotta you gotta go through some hills or some mountains. It takes a little bit longer. Uh, look, here's a pistol flashlight. We want to take that. Well, let's see the condition of it. And it's pristine. So you know what? You want to take that because when you go into a police station and you get a 45, you can attach that flashlight, and it it really helps, uh, especially if you're doing anything at night. So. You know, I wouldn't be running around uh, into the houses at all if my guy wasn't really hungry. So we're gonna we're just gonna check this little room really quick, see if I can find some rations. Uh, okay, there's canned spaghetti. I don't have anything to open it with, but we'll find something. All right. So yeah, I didn't see anything in here really worthwhile. There's a little red hat. Whatever. I already got a little cap on. So, it's. Yeah, I went into here because sometimes they have uh, some pretty cool stuff. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take this little pipe wrench, and you know what? Let's go close this door. Just in case there's any wanderers around here, I don't want them to come in here and kill me while I'm trying to grab something to eat. So, let's see. Can we open this can of food with this pipe wrench? No, we cannot. No, that sucks. Let me see. Huh. That's funny. It's not even working. What a waste. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Alright, so... Well, we got a can of spaghetti, but we have no way to open it. So we need to find... We need to find a knife. We'll find something before we die. Um, I guess I'll keep the pipe wrench for right now. <coughs> Anyways. So... Yeah get everything out of our hands so we can run faster. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Alright, back into the rain. Rain sucks, but oh well. Alright. So we're back on the main road. This is where we came from. Baranzino way down that way. We're in the little town of Gorka. And now we're heading to Novi Sabor. Oh, and just a quick note, if you want to check and see how many people are in the lobby, you press P and you can see I'm Bulldog Rage, and then there's B Bishop, Bishop, who, who knows, King of the War, whatever. Anyways, you press P, and that's how how you can see how many people are in the lobby. Um, so right now we're just going through the little town of, of Gorka. Let's see, do we have anything in here? Um, no, but we got some more food, right? So we'll just grab it, and, and yeah, a can of baked beans. Let's see, let's see if we grab this shovel. Uh, that's new, pickaxe. Alright, so let's see if we can open food with a shovel. I don't know. No. Apparently not. So, that's fine, right? I mean, no big deal. That was a nice thought. But, I'm not going to carry that. It's a waste of space. So, We'll find a knife and we'll be able to uh, open that can of spaghetti or that can of beans and we'll get some food. So uh, at this point, we'll just we'll just keep moving forward. Ah, you know what? Sorry, I want to run in here really quick. I just don't want to die 
on the way there. Wow, this is totally a new building. This is really cool. I've never seen this before. I don't know if there's anything in here, but we're going to look. Let's see what we got. Well, there's a soda, so we'll take that, right? Okay, we'll drink that. That'll help out our, our craving just a little bit. Still hungry, but, you know, with this game, any any nutrition is good. So let's just walk upstairs really quick, see what we got. Alright, cool. Drink a soda. Alright, now, there's a map right there. I don't know what this map is. Um, it's not even let me pick it up. Yeah. Okay, so there's a map. Northwest, Northwest Trinaris. Well, that's funny because that that's actually where that's actually where the uh, the big airfield is that we're going to, the big military base. I'm not going to take it because uh, I don't need it. If you guys want to take it, you're more than welcome to. Oh, uh, see now, look, this is kind of a nice little treat right there. Look, check that out. We got ourselves. We just found a little 45. That is awesome. Hopefully it's not damaged. No, it's pristine. So we will take that, but we're still going to have to find bullets. We're going to have to find, um, you know, we're going to have to find uh, a clip for it or a magazine. So first things first, we need to make some room. Let's take that, and we'll attach that to the flashlight. Let me see. We'll take the 45. Ha. Huh. I don't know if we're going to be able to carry it. Let me see. Let's just ditch this flashlight. Can we... No. Well, dang it. That sucks. We need a backpack so we can carry some stuff. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about the gun. There's more of them. <coughs> right now, we just need to run. And we don't have any bolts for it anyways, and that's why we're going to the airfield. So, no big deal. Sorry for wasting time. Just checking to see if there was a can opener anywhere. Sorry, this is my first time seeing this building. Uh, this is something new that they added in, so I just had to, I just had to go through it really quick. Yeah, cool. So okay, right? There's a little Ruger 10-22 right there. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't really want to take it though because it's not going to do me any good. Morphine, auto injector, another map, I guess, if you want to use it. The only thing I care about right now is just getting some damn food. So we're on the top here. Not quite for sure if we're going to find anything. Ha! Banana. Check that out. Is that a good one? Let's check it out. See if it's any good. It's damaged, but it's not... We can still eat it. So as long as it's not rotten, we'll be okay. So let's uh, let's go ahead and eat this banana, right? Eat. There we go. That'll help us. Uh, that'll give us just a little bit of energy, and then we can keep going again. So yeah, okay. So I'm not hungry, but it's not going to take long before we're hungry again. So you know, no big deal. But that's that's all I wanted to do. That's that's all I was trying to attempt was just trying to get a little bit of food just to give us a little bit of energy so we can get back on the road. Whoa. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Probably would have broken my leg or something. Just doing a quick quick check here. Make sure there's no bullets for that little forty five. Okay, so, cool, so we're back out, right, let's see, cars, they uh, they do keep things in them, you'll find guns, and you'll find hacksaws, and different stuff, but, you know, we got food, we got water, and, you know, I think I've already wasted like 10 minutes of, of video time, let's just get the hell out of here, we're going to run, right, we're going to Novi Sabor, that headed, 
which is which is actually like two maybe three little towns just just southeast of the big airfield so when you get to Novi Sabor or Starry Sabor you're doing really 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 good so again we're in the little town of Gorka right this is the second video part two of our journey to uh, the Northwest Airfield, the big airfield, also known as the military base, the big one, because there's three military bases. But anyway, you look at it, all of the military bases are very, very dangerous. Yeah, nothing special. Uh, and and an another thing, too, as we get closer to the airfield, the big airfield, um, when we get into Novi Sabor, not only are we going to have to worry about zombies, but we're really going to have to worry about the other people uh, that are playing the game, too. So right now there's only two other people in the lobby. Hopefully they'll leave me alone. Uh, but if I can at least do a video long enough to get us to the airfield before somebody snipes me or comes up and rapes me or whatever, we'll, we'll be in good shape. Because so, there's no friends in this game. Everybody's a bandit. I think, I think there's a couple guys out there who are really trying to do good, but... Uh, you know, I know that they've been killed a thousand times, just like I have. So I, I tried being the nice guy. I tried doing, you know, the things that were, you know, to, to make friends with people. And I think I've made one friend. Uh, but everybody else just kills you. So, okay, again, right, the little white signs uh, has a red slash through it. So we're leaving Gorka. So we're, we're out of Gorka, and now we just got kind of a long little trek all the way down to Novi Sabor. But once we get to Novi Sabor... We're, we're going to be real close to the airstrip. <clears throat> you know, again, always try to keep an eye out around you of things going on. Always a good idea, you know. Uh, every once in a while, zoom up, you know, so you can kind of see what's going on. See if there's any, any other wanderers out there, any other bandits, anybody... Anybody, anything, you know, because if you can see ahead and you can see somebody coming before they can see you or shoot you, you know, you'll be able to tell. If they're fully decked out in military gear, you're, you're dead. Um, if, if it's somebody like you who doesn't have, who doesn't have a whole bunch, you know, uh, no weapons and just, just some street clothes, you could probably go up and say hi. Um, you know, but I would definitely keep your distance because if they start hitting you, you go unconscious, you're dead, right? So that that sucks. All right, so oh hey, yeah, really quick, let me show you this. Okay, so we're, we've come up to a crossroads. We're just outside of Gorka, uh, four miles that way to whatever that is. That you know, it's in Russian. Uh, Hobbin, Kobop, whatever. That's Novi Sabor. When you look on when you look on DaisyMap.com, again, I said that there was uh, an English kind of name, which is Novi Sabor, and underneath that, there's this Hob Hobkin, Hob whatever, Hobbin, Kobop. Uh, that's Novi Sabor. So we know that we're three miles from Novi Sabor. Won't take us very long. Um, it says to the left, but really that just means stay straight on this road. Otherwise, if you try to make a left somewhere and go through the field, you're, you're going to con get confused. You'll end up back on the coast and in worse shape that, than you're in now. So we're just going to keep running. So, again, I know I've said it a few times already. If, if you can play the game and either go onto your phone um, or if you have two monitors, punch in daisymap.com it's an interactive map, and you can go from one town to the next town uh, and see all the roads. So that way you have an idea where you're going. And that would actually be a good idea if you could do that while watching this video and follow along at the same time. That will really help you learn this map. Uh, so you'll be able to go wherever you want quicker. Because the, the military base, the big airfield, all the military bases, those places are cool, right? Everybody wants to go there to load up. They want to get their, they want to get their M16s or they want to get their Mossens. And uh, I know there's a couple of new guns that I haven't seen yet, like that Ruger 22 back there. You know, that's the first time seeing that one. Um, but the military bases, they're they're good to load up, but they're not that cool. 
right? I mean, there's other there's other places, and they're they're adding more cities, like that building that I was just in. I've never seen that building before, and that was cool going through there. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, like the shipwreck over on the coast. That place is that place is cool to go and hang out. So, but you got to be careful. No matter where you go, all the really cool places, people are probably there. Uh, and like over on that shipwreck, if if you're in that shipwreck, keep an eye on the mountainside because chances are, if you're in a lobby with you know five, ten people, chances are at least one to two people are over there sitting there picking people off with a sniper. So hopefully we're going to be able to get to the airbase uh, before it gets dark on this map. I went into I went into a map where there wasn't very many people because I didn't want to deal with you know people people killing me. I was trying to make a video here. So, but already it's starting to get a little bit dark. But you can see you know all we're doing is we're just walking the road. This road takes us all the way straight into Novi Sabor. So if you spawn and you want to get to you want to get to Baranzino where we started out if you have the water on your right and you have land on your left you're going in the right direction you'll be able to get all the way up to Baranzino and that's where we started this series of videos <clears throat> Well, the good part is I'm not hungry. I am soaked, though. I don't know if my guy's running a little bit slower. He seems kind of sluggish. But we have two cans of food. We have Sprite. And we got a flashlight. Ah, oh, see, what I should have done is I should have put the battery in the weapon light, in the pistol light, instead of putting in the flashlight. Because remember, I got rid of the flashlight. I guess that was kind of stupid on my part. But, you know, there's there's little batteries all over the place. So just keep your eye out for them. Uh, another big thing to, to keep your eye out for, so we have police stations, which are huge um, for finding food, canteens, guns. Um, you know, you just got to watch out for people. But another place that's really awesome to find, you know, good loot is there's, there's storage facilities. And if we get a chance, if I walk by one, I'll show you. Uh, but storage facilities, there's usually, you know, like five or ten doors, and you can open the doors, and they're usually loaded up with food and clothes and just different apparel. Um, you know, it's something to get you by until you can get all your military gear. But, you know, another thing to think about, too, is military gear also makes you a target. If somebody sees you and you're in plain clothes, chances are you, they might leave you alone. But if you're decked out in military gear, you're just dead. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna try to make friends with you. No one's gonna try to, uh, um, you know, come say hi. They're just gonna shoot you if they got a gun. I don't know if I've never seen this before, or if this is new, or something that they put in. Maybe it's been here. I don't know. Let, let's see what's on that hood. But this all looks kind of new to me. Well, there's a little briefcase, right? Let me see. What does that give us? Hey! See, now, if I would have had that briefcase, I would have been able to take that pistol. So, okay. Yeah. So my character is like a 40-year-old guy wearing an ugly red beanie with a little child's briefcase on his back. That's great. People are going to shoot me just because I look retarded, not because they're threatened. Alright, so I see some... Let me see. I haven't really been paying attention to the map, but I think this is Novi Sabor. So we're actually... We're getting really, really, really close. So now, if I wasn't making a video, 
I would probably shoot just straight across that way and that would take us right into the airfield. Um, but I am making a video so we're going to stick to the roads. Oh great, see my guy's feeling hungry again. That banana, it uh, it didn't last for too long, but you know what, it gave us gave us just a little bit of energy. It gave us just enough to to get here, uh, at least to Novi Sabor. And you know, like I said, we are so close to the big airfield now. We're actually, we're doing really good. But, you know, these two towns, uh, they're right underneath, uh, they're right underneath the airfield, and you know the game designers knew that this was going to be a high traffic high traffic area so um, got to be really careful there's just tons of zombies around here all right so here we are we're coming into our street signs yep see Hob and Cobop real simple all right like I said this is Novi Sabor Hob and Cobop two names there's an American name a Russian name uh, this is Novi Sabor this is Hob and Cobop um, the next little town is Stari Sabor, and that's actually really, really, really close to where we're at. But we're going to end this video right here. Uh, this will be part two. And uh, we're going to start segment three, part three, in just a minute.